Yeah, thank you very much. We have, we have been together for many years. Safari Park, particularly, and so on. And the, the comments we made about 2002 elections, the margin of victory was such that they could not be uh, tempered with. Uh, who tells you that? I've been in the system. If I wanted to tell that, I would, I, would, I would have done it. We have a recent example here in Gabon. Gabon. What happened? Did the electoral commission announce some person, so and so has won. But when they, when they opened the server, what happened? I did the results of the election announced in Gabon. The gap was so wider than the 2002 elections. I think it was something like 17% versus 7%, but they had done it. I'm just saying this to give credit. Let's give the credit where it is due. That the Electoral Commission did a good job in that election and announced the results which reflected the wishes of the people of Kenya. And that that Electoral Commission was actually composed of people, commissioners, nominated by political parties of the day. And therefore it's possible. Now when you say uh, that, that people made by parties will be partial and so on, yeah, it's true. But you see, if you don't give political parties, particularly the two, three big ones, that chance to nominate their own uh, people. If they have to go into the system of maneuvering, manipulating the selection system to make sure that their person is there, the type of person they'll nominate will not be a person of gravitas. It will be a psychophant. And therefore, he'll be influencing, it will be there to disturb the situation and so on. So that's why it's good just to accept the situation the way it is. Say, you, you are the big guys, not nominate. But there should be people of gravitas, and they will do so. Rather than uh, making them go under the table, manipulating, and making sure that their psycho funds are nominated. Uh, uh, this question. But anyway, thank you very much for putting order <laughs> in the discussions. I can tell you that uh, Mbarire, the governor of Embu, we also have a claim on her in Busia. Yes. So we are very proud of her in Busia also. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, Madwa, you mentioned uh, quite a number of things which, in a sense, I agree with. Uh, actually, those are brief with my recommendations, but also suggesting a few things. Uh, this article 884H, I think it can be used, but it will be useful if there was a clear clause. A clear clause to say that after every general election, there will be, there'll be that. Opening. Yeah. Make it clear, rather than just a general. That's basically what. Yeah. Anything else? Well, thank you. I but think I can say I'm available. Yeah, thank you. Please and Rachel are also thinking. In, including, by the way, <laughs> this thing, Zambians went, uh, and I think at some stage, uh, Hassan and uh, referring to again, uh, talk about Frelimo experience in Mozambique and uh, Ranemo. Um, but um, Zambians have actually decided. Rather than uh, of this electronic transmission, they will do it manually. Uh, I don't want you to answer now, but perhaps give it some thought. Give it some thought. But then you didn't answer whether you are in that petition as one of the lawyers in that meal. Which one? That meal petition. No, no, I was not. He wasn't. An honorable co chair, just to thank the honorable attorney general emeritus. He's actually flown in from, uh, he was out of the country at a family tragedy. Oh, and he just flew in for this, and we must really, really appreciate it. And you've taken up a lot of your time. In fact, speaking from your brains, we should have paid you your FTP notes. <laughs> but because of your patriotism, 
and your colleague, uh, Honorable Guido Mugai, was here also. This committee benefited 